Welcome back. So now we're going to get some body post somewhat mounted up. So let me show you guys these part numbers. ARA32 Zero five one seven. This is the body post mount set. Front bumper support ARA three two zero five two one. Front bumper support, and then ARA three two zero five three seven. Foam front bumper. Right, so we already have this piece installed because this comes on the limitless. So we don't need that, but it comes in part of the kit. Um, let's see, this is already in there as well. This is the piece I mainly need. Goes like that. Mounts up right here. Now these screws are pretty long. which I think I need longer screws for that. All right. So now we're gonna put these two screws in on the bottom. These are a tapered screw. So they sit flush. those are blank so the one marked 20 mm millimeters is the rear and the one marked 32 millimeters is the front so this so it looks like the front's going to end up sitting there I might change it out I'm probably going to put this in the front. I might have another one of these too. I might do that front and rear because that'll put my body post where I want them. Because this one is the three millimeter, which the three millimeter might work better for the back. This is definitely going to work better for the back. I might have to. Play with uh, the body mount position because I might flip this around and flip this over. It's just wherever it's going to mount up the best. So that that's looking good there. still too wide I don't want to end up with pins I guess I can put a pin in there and a pin in there but on that curve I 
I'm going to look and see if I have another short one. I believe I do. I believe that also comes, uh, the short one comes in the limitless bag. But we're going to look into that. This will work perfect for back there. Be right back. All right. So, a couple of things I need to do. First thing we're going to do is I had some parts show up from Basher Queen. Like I said, I went ahead and ordered these off eBay. Um, I just happened to find them. Oh, no, these aren't the Basher Queen one. This is my battery tray. So, because I'm flipping the motor and I only have a spot for a battery tray here, the plan was to run this thing that hits the tire in the back let me flip it this way that doesn't line up So, let me check the other side. Well, that's kind of weird. where it goes but I'm gonna have to cut this box so let me cut this box while I'm in the middle of making a mess. You got to leave that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole to secure this whole thing to this corner. And that's what I was doing. This gives me the most room and that's why I do it this way. That's why I trim these boxes, buying those random parts like I did, which I knew I was making a mistake because you buy these machine parts especially from who I bought that from RC Speed Monster it uh, you're just in for a world of hurt trying to get it to work properly for what I'm trying to do they basically, where I'm putting my ESC, they want me to mount that plate, but that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, that's the wrong hole. This one over here. So by doing the box this way, it gives me the most mounting points um, for my side skirt. 
over here and then this will hook directly back up to my steering servo using the factory parts which I'm all for that there we go that'll work I'm gonna have to change this stick too because it's broken But I thought I was going to be mounting up those. I thought this was the Basher Queen's uh, side skirts. But of course it's not. So and then I'll modify this piece for this other battery tray. Because I want to put the bearing support on for now. Which clicks into here. Like that. And supports the bearing. Right off this thing over here. like that so we will be where does it go like this I believe so there's two bolts in the back that will hold it This is going to snap right on here. And bolt right in the back. So let me bolt that thing up. There we go, bearing is secure. So here's how the modified battery tray on the side skirt should come out. The modified receiver and steering box with the ESC part cut out so that we have all this room right here. And then the bearing retainer support, which is right here, clips in to that battery tray and then the existing battery tray and still leaves room for your motor. So your fans can be mounted up over here or on top. And then your bearing retainer here. So you have this little section here. And once the wires are bent over, and this is all factory parts that you can modify instead, instead of having to buy all this stuff this stuff's going to bend over and run to our ESC which our ESC is going to go right in this area here and then this battery tray will get double stacked with batteries so this is how I like to modify this battery tray and then you'll end up with just a couple pieces left over that you just won't use anymore but just a glimpse on how I modify this stuff to give me the clearance for this motor and then this will allow me to attach a side skirt here and I can put the side skirt back over here so if you don't do this you basically don't have the bolt holes to attach any kind of side skirt 
because the side skirt doesn't bolt to the chassis. It bolts to this battery tray bracket. And that's the whole reason I do this. So that's how I modify the battery tray and the receiver box with the steering servo. Back to the video. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to get the table cleaned up so we can continue working. All right. So this is uh, going to end this video as it's already becoming too long. But we do have the colors picked out for painting the body. So we'll be painting the body in the next video. We'll finish trimming it out. So I'm going to do the final trim. Get it painted. For the next video my battery showed up for this build 130c same size as the 3s battery since we're going to double stack them on that side we're going to go ahead and run these packs so these are a 4s 130c um, new battery pack through jen's ace there's the part number 6,000 ma, 15.2 V. So. It's going to be a cool battery. I'm going to finally test that on a speed run and see how it does. We have some other parts there. Basher Queens side skirts finally showed up. So those are the correct ones which we'll unbox and bolt in. And then the colors are picked out. A lot of people voted for yellow, so yellow will be the main color. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for everybody watching. And uh, we're going to continue on with this build series. So like, comment, subscribe. We will see you guys on part three.